The Chief Justice, Justice Gertrude Tokono, has reversed her earlier directive to transfer the case involving the murder of the Chief Executive Officer of the Royal Cozy Hills Hotel from the Wa High Court to Kumasi for hearing. The decision follows numerous protests from family members of the late CEO. Lawyers for the three accused persons presented a letter from the Chief Justice on June 12, directing the Wa High Court to transfer the case to Kumasi. Channel One News' Latif Mahama was at the court and brings us this report. The supervising judge at the Wa High Court, His Lordship Yusuf Asibe, suspended proceedings on June 12. In the murder case involving the state and three others connected with the late Eric Johnson, the CEO of the Royal Cozy Hills Hotel in Jirapa. This decision came after Clement Iledi, lead counsel for the accused persons, presented a letter from the Chief Justice directing the court to transfer the case to Kumasi. Immediately after the decision, family members of the late CEO expressed anger and objection citing strong public interest and the cost of transporting witnesses to Kumasi as reasons for their opposition. At Tuesday's hearing of the case at the Wa High Court, Supervising Judge Asibe highlighted that the Chief Justice had agreed to the late Eric Johnson's family's request for the case to be tried in Wa. Said Abdul Shakur leads the state prosecutors on this case. Today, when we appeared in court to start the trial, the a high court judge announced that the chief justice has given him the powers to continue to try this matter and made orders to the effect that on the 18th we'll be having the case management conference and after 18th we'll now take the adjournment for the trial to commence so i can say now that we are commencing the trial in earnest in one he assured that his team had gathered sufficient evidence capable of securing conviction against the three accused persons. It is a thorough, thorough job. And the docket is a well-built docket, properly assembled facts for us to commence this trial. And I have no doubt in my mind that the docket we have is a solid docket and that what we are about to do, we are on good standard and we would ensure that justice is done. Some family members present at the court to witness the proceedings expressed satisfaction with the decision to try the case in Wa. I think that is, uh, first of all, some good news. And uh, by way of good news, I mean that it has saved the indigents of Jirapa a lot of, uh, you know, resource constraints and pain. And also, not just to the indigents of Jirapa, but also to the entire Upper West region. Because when you look at it, the speculations we had when they said the case was being transferred to Kumasi, the perception that was out there was that there were some unseen hands that were trying to play a fast one on, on us. Once uh, it's, called, it's been tried here, we'll also be following the procedures and see how it will end. So we agree with the Chief Justice and then uh, we we'll continue to express our decision to, to her for taking that decision. Residents of Jirapa have expressed satisfaction over the decision by the Chief Justice to allow for the case involving the murder of the CEO of the Royal Cozy Hills Hotels to be tried here in Wa. They are, however, calling for a speedy trial of the case. Reporting for Channel One News, my name is Latif Mahama, Wa.